Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a mid-month of September 2021 love and general situationship that reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This is a general collective reading for the Aries friends out there. Thank you Aries for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you very much for um, supporting my channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Aries, you know what to do. All of the details about the private reading, the extended reading, the merchandise, free shipping worldwide. All of the links to access those uh, products and services, it is found in the description box below, okay? If you have an Instagram, connect with me there, please. We also have extended the merchandise towards Etsy store. Um, if you want to look at it, the link is down in the description box below, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you in love and general situation, Aries. This is the mid-month reading. Let's see what's coming towards you, all right? This is for you. Let's get your overall energy for today. You've got the two of pentacles in upright position, sorry, reverse position. And you've got the prince of wands, okay? Some good news, good stuff, okay? All right, you've got the two of pentacles in here. It's in reverse. I feel like in the past, you were quite confused. I'm hearing the word, you don't know how to get along with someone or you don't know how to deal or to process um, some person or an energy that you confusing you. Now, I feel like you have been given a second chance or you're going to take it easy. You're going to take it slow. Uh, there's a trigger in here. I feel like there's a person or a situation that triggers you to use your fire, your flame in a not so good way. But instead of um, using or using your, like, it's instead of allowing the person, the people that triggers you to use your fire, your flame into a not so good way. I feel like you're going to play with that. You know, you're going to play it cool. Page of Wands, you know. Page of Wands, this is a good news. A Page of Wands is a good update. A Page of Wands is, I feel like, an energy or a person to change your mind. Okay? Something tells me that the situation your interest it's gonna change because of this okay i feel like i feel like for some of you you almost given up or you almost like you check out you almost exit before the finish line however from now going to the immediate future something is gonna change your mind someone will change your mind someone will invite you to connect someone will convince you to rejoin someone or something will happen that it would change your mind it will change your heart and it will take you back into something that you were interested with and they want you to look at it again yeah you know to look at it again in a very in a very relaxing you know it's it's more of giving you something to look at it and play with it like it's more of i'm hearing the word don't take it too seriously because if it's too serious it's not fun so take things slow fun um upbeat you know and you will resolve it you you will get on with it okay so that is the overall vibe i'm getting in here let's look at the recent situation for you recent, recent past for you aries you've got the four of swords in reverse i feel like you went into a panic room a panic mode okay four of swords it's clarified by the six of swords someone came back to you someone came back someone informed you or there's a situation that reoccur and it it brought you to that panic room you did not like it whoever this is it could be an opportunity it brought up some old wounds some uncom sorry some complicated thought like you were you were connected into something into someone that made you panic that made you feel trapped and you panic okay you've got a star card but i feel like it was resolved or it's about to resolve okay there's a situation it made you panic it made you think it made you feel that you were feeling that same anxiety in the past however I feel like you were able to manage it because it's now fully contained, the star card. I feel like for some of you, uh, there's some sort of misinterpretation. Maybe you panic in the beginning, but you manage to 
um, contain the situation and it seems to be it's gonna go into your favor you've got the star card okay so take it easy um for some of you i'm getting as well that you panic because it went back or it came back where you were not expecting it to be that way or it was unexpected of that to say or to do you reacted in a very panic mode however you managed to somehow contain yourself you blended you learn and up up until now you're learning to manage it so it's looking good it could be a relationship it could be a personal um relationship with someone with somebody but it is coming from the past and i feel like the more you are cool about it the more you learn from it the more you will realize that it's not actually something that would make you panic it is something that will make you learn to manage how you react on this on this person on this situation i feel like there's something good that will come out from this being panic and learning how to handle it okay in both ways okay i feel like this is still happening right now okay now you've got the wheel of fortune in reverse there's something in the recent past that made you feel stuck okay and i think it is related to romantic six of cups so for some of you there was a romantic situation in the past and i feel like as much as you wanted to be with this person or situation um delay after delay after delay is what they have given you i feel like this person or this romantic situation it made you think like is this the best that they could offer me let's clarify that four of pentacles i feel like because there was some sort you know six of cups this is soulmate this is something big this is not just a small time connection this is a big time connection i feel like you've realized that um sorry uh, let me just press something I feel like you realize, Aries, that instead of overthinking about this love romantic situation, I feel like you're just going to put a break on it, okay? If you're not in this energy, then the intuitive is advising you that there is a big, this is something big. It's a romantic commitment. It's a romantic partnership that it's in the making. And it makes you feel stuck, you know? I feel like in this situation, you're ready and they're not. So the gap between you're ready, you're here, and this person is here, that creates a gap. And I feel like the advice for you is that four of pentacles, take a step back, put a break on it, and maybe they will catch up. Because it's something big, you know. I'm getting like whoever this person or romantic situation, they're still around you. They're, they will still connect with you. There's so many cups in here. It's actually unforgettable. If it's not working or if it's not moving the way things you want it to be, I feel like you're, you're, you're going to put yourself a break on thinking or giving so much of it so that you could clear up the space and you could allocate your energy or your thinking or your feeling to something productive. I feel like you're handling it well, you know, looking at the star card, the six of cups in here. I feel like I could really say that you can handle this Aries, you know, star card, the six of cups. You can handle the personal relationship. You just really have to accept that you're here and this this is where they are. So there's a gap. So your person needs to catch up on you. Okay? I feel like they're still interested with you, you know? You've got a two of swords. You guys are in alignment. You guys will definitely meet. You know, this is parallel. And I feel like this is the road, you know? I feel like at the end, you will still be together. You know, the two of swords. So... I feel like take it easy. I feel like in the recent past, those situations for you, it's more of your in advance. If you re regulate and if you learn from why you're so advanced and they're not ready, it, for example, you're dealing with someone and you're, you're quite ready to go exclusive and your person is not. So instead of, you know, pulling them to join you here, why don't you step back a little bit and understand why are they there? So you understand the, the meaning of thing. you know, there is... There is glory and there is art in terms of waiting and giving it a go, a second look on why this is person is delay. What's the important thing they're doing on why they're delay? So in here, it's telling me that if you wait a little bit, there is a rainbow at the end of the tunnel that you would be in alignment soon. You know, you just really have to wait for this person or this opportunity or this situation to catch up on you. I feel like you have faith. You've got to put your trust and faith that you being in here 
and them be sitting behind or a little bit behind you that if you wait a little bit you'll catch up you know in the current energy you've got the six of pentacles upright position and the nine of pentacles the queen of pentacles you've got a lot of opportunity about work you know um six of pentacles I feel like there will come a point from now up until the end of September that you would be juggling a lot of things at the same time. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to touch one by one uh, the learning, uh, the opportunity. If you finish one goal, something will be given to you. You, you. you will shuffle things. You will learn for for each of these things or goals or requests or connection that will come around from now up until the immediate future. You will learn. This is you. You relax. Someone calls you. Someone wants you to do, the, to do this and that. So you've got a lot of, you know, a lot of things to juggle. But in in this in this is a this is a busy. I'm getting like within the next two weeks. I feel like you are so um, in demand. Nine of Pentacles from six, you became nine, and the Queen of Pentacles. You eventually will get it. You know, if there is a situation right now, Aries, that you feel like it's being delegated with you. You've been asked to do this to do that you know i feel like a lot of people person is delegating something to you or it's been giving you a task i feel like these are task lists you know aries six of pentacles i feel like you're you're doing a lot of things at the same time and you are doing it in a very enjoyable in a very comfortable because this is your expertise and there's some sort of confident and learning and it will take you to be the queen of pentacles because you've got the nine of pentacles in here I feel like if you've been delegated a task, if you're given, if you've been given a task or delegated by the task, whether you feel like universe, why do I have these things on me? Why am I so busy? If you look at it, these are things or tasks that will empower you, that will make you the nine of pentacles, that will give you more money, that will give you more stability. You would learn from this and you will be independent. I feel like in the current energy from now going onwards, I see a lot of tasks. I see a lot of delegation. I see you working on things one at a time, but there's no break. Like you finish this and the next day there's going to be another one and another one and another one. Don't worry about it. It will stalemate. It will go to plateau. Okay. But when it goes to plateau, plateau, you will get a lot of knowledge. You'll get a lot of confidence. You will be so good. So have, you will get, you, you will get this knowledge and power at the same time that you will be independent, that you could create your own business, that you could really nail the interview. Okay. So for some of you, you're going to attend one interview and another interview. You're going to be doing one pres presentation to another presentation. You're going to be doing the same thing um, in, in a couple of days, in a week, consistently, and you'll be an expert on it. Trust me. You're going to be the nine of pentacles. You'll be the go-to person. You'll be the go-to person. You'll, you'll be the expert matter. Expert matter, okay? So I feel like it is connected to money. It's connected to career. So do it diligently and do it in a fun way because you're going to come out as a nine of pentacles and a queen of pentacles. Like you would be the queen of the system. Queen of the... You'll be the specialist of the specialist because I see you. They're delegating you to do it. And the next thing... You, they're delegating you to do this. You're going to do it again the next day and the next day and the, and the next day and the next day. And... You know, it, it's it's a recurring pattern. It's a recurring thing. It's a recurring theme. You're going to be expert on this and you're the only one who could do this. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, you're going to perfect it. And you'll be the subject matter expert of this business, of this goal, of this situation. And you will be in demand. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, opportunities coming for you in the immediate future is you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, because you're so busy, I feel like you've got to turn down other offer. Because I feel like for some of you, this is one interview, another interview, 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 interview. And you will get an all at once result. Like, because you keep doing this, and then the result will come all together. So some of the result, you would say no. Like, no, I'm the expert now. I don't do that. I delegate. So for some of you, you'll be invited for an interview. No, sorry, I got a job now. Bye-bye. So, so whatever you're doing right now, it will come to a point of a plateau, a stalemate, because 
you'll be an expert. You will delegate. You'll get a job. You no longer need to accept this invite. You know, you've got a Knight of Cups in here. In here, <clears throat> what I see in you in the next two weeks is you're going to absorb every opportunity. And every opportunity, you will learn. You get, you get some knowledge. And that knowledge will give you power. Because I see you in the immediate future. You've got Knight of Cups. You know, there are some people and situation that you've learned from them. Like you, you've learned from the hard way for some of you. I'm seeing this Knight of Cups. It is a person in the past. Two person. There is two person in your past that would invite you. That would reconnect with you. The full card. I feel like you're going to give them a chance. I feel like you would look at them. But I feel like you're just going to be playful with this person. I feel like one of the things that you would have in here is that knowledge is power. And be, by being knowledgeable on how to work with these people or person or situation, that is where you win. Okay? I feel like there's some sort of good news up now up and up until the immediate future. Those good news is coming from the past person. It's a good news because they want you, but I'm not sure whether you want them because you're so busy. You're going to create and open some opportunities, new opportunities. You're going to crack in here. You're going to, you know, you're, gonna, you're finally going to pe penetrate to be in some world, in some social situation, in some friendship that will connect you into a lover's opportunity in here. So don't pass on every opportunity. It might look so busy. But it's going to take you to your new adventure. There's a lot of doors opening for you left and right, Aries, okay? And some of those people, person that left you behind in the past, they will follow you here, you know? Those people and person that you would like to catch up on you in the, in the immediate future, I don't think you would be so much interested of them because you would, date, you would, date, you would taste a different palette, you know? So instead, you know, you would still see them, you would look at them, but I don't think you would be so foolish to do that. You would you you would play around. Like you would be you would see them as fun. You would see this person people as an experience, but no longer the object of your affection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're powerful. You are starting to learn when to use your fire, your excitement, your energy. You're you're learning how to delegate and use the main energy for yourself. Okay? So some of those object of affection or attention in here, some of them some of them will rejoin you, but I think you have changed. You have changed so much that you are craving for a different object of affection or attention. You're just simply being a mature Aries that nine of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, you've learned the hard way. So you're going to do everything in such a way that it's fun, it's adventurous, and you've got that knowledge as your power. So good luck to you guys. I love your energy. I love how the way you, how, how I love how you transform your being stuck, um, your learning into something great, into something, into something of a big picture. Okay. So good luck to you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye bye.